Hello again, everyone. Welcome back to Shorty Plays. This is Hotline Miami 2. Um, we unlocked the sniper rifle after that last mission. Um, and it looks like we're still in 1985, I believe, in Hawaii. Uh, so let's continue here. We're going home after this. That's what the colonel said. I guess that's a good cause for celebration. Damn straight. We should see if the commies left us anything to drink. This heat is killing me. I wouldn't mind a drink myself. When do you think the colonel will get here? I'm sure he's got a bottle or two stashed away somewhere. Might be a while. The roads around here are pretty rough. We should probably settle for some water for now and catch some sleep. I'll feel a lot safer here when D Company arrives. Didn't you hear? Those guys are pussies. We're better off without them. We took down this place on our own, didn't we? Well, I did. I don't know about you. What do we need them for, huh? I guess you're right, Barnes, but there's always safety in numbers. I'm gonna go lie down for a while. Didn't get much sleep last night. Wake me up when the colonel gets here, okay? Ooh. Okay, 1989. Oh, I'm the fat guy now. We'll see what he's been up to lately. Mary from the daycare center on Northwest 159th Street. We're having a parent-teacher meeting tonight at 7. Northwest 159th Street. Got it. I'll be there at 7. Yeah, that's the guy from before. Discreet. Hello? Where'd you go? Sorry, I was looking at that green thing on his stomach. I can't ever think what that is. Like, is it strings to his pants? Like, if he's wearing sweats or something? I don't know. Ooh, drives like a truck. What? Guess he's doing pretty well. Why, hello there. We're just about to close up here. Is there anything I can help you with? I'm a member? Is that so? I'm glad to hear that. Thank you for your support. Look, I've got this plan. I know it sounds a little crazy, but just think about it for a little while, okay? I think I might be onto something big here. Alright, let's hear this plan of yours. Just make it quick. I really need to be on my way. Alright, so I've been getting these strange phone calls. Strange phone calls? I wouldn't know anything about that. Look, just hear me out, okay? Like I was saying, these phone calls are telling me to do stuff. They sound like they're some kind of misplaced calls, but they're not. And if you don't do what they say, well, let's say you don't want to disobey them. They mean business, if you know what I mean. I see, and what do you think this has to do with our organization? I don't know. I was thinking, what if we set up a similar operation, except, like, we go after the Russians, free America of our oppressors, you know? I mean, you have all these members and all the resources, Many of us have military experience. We'd wipe them out. We could start a civil movement and free ourselves. I'm not sure I follow. We're a peaceful organization. We can never force anyone to do something they don't want to do. I'm not sure what you're accusing us of. Man, you're not listening. I'm not accusing you of any. Oh, I get it. You're the ones. It all makes sense now. Ha, I can't believe I didn't figure it out sooner. My god, and here I was thinking I had this great... Oh, man. Look here, sir. We're closed, okay? If you don't mind, I'd really like for you to leave now. Can't talk about it here, eh? Gotcha. Don't worry, I'll keep your secret safe. You can count on me, brother. We're both patriots, right? I'll just go on. I'll just go now. I have something important to do, if you know what I'm saying. Eh. Alright. So it's like a, like a vet area? Oh, I can't read that, says. Yeah, it seems like it's a, uh, a vet. A place for vets or retired uh, military people. Something like that. Alright. Withdrawal. Withdrawal. Withdrawal? Ooh, we finally get to pick masks now. So we got Jake with lethal throws. Or Irvin with a nail gun. Uh. Alright, let's go with Irvin. The nail gun sounds fine. So he's the snake. Got it.
Ugh. Ow. Ow. Sorry, I'm a little rusty. Ow. I don't know if I like the nail gun. It's a little slow. I'll take the shotgun. Okay, now I'll take the nail gun. there. I know they're gonna hear me, so, uh, didn't hear that. Is it a silent space gun? What? The hell was that? What? I think it's a silenced based gun. As far as I can tell. Ow. That's funny. <laughs> Anybody out there? Ow. Ow. Like, he saw me, he shot at me, but he didn't come at me. Yeah, you see you see how this is like... There's different rules, it seems. No, now this guy's gonna come after me. Kick his face in. Um, I don't mind the nail gun. hard to aim though, kind of. I don't mind the nail gun. It's it's kind of like a silenced uh, silent base gun. What am I stuck on? Alright, whatever. Where's that shotgun? That still killed me. What the fuck? What is that? I want to know. Ah, oh, fucking shotguns. Hit him. Fuck it. Where's my shotgun? I don't even care anymore. I know they're all gonna hear it, but... No, why won't it let me out? I want those weapons! Don't oh, fuck. Ah! I... Stupid. <laughs> oh my god. Hit him! Oh my god! This gun sucks! Sure, it's cool because it's slow, but... Everybody and their mother can hear it. Oh, I should've. Oh, that's okay. So, it's like a meth lab, I guess. up it kills me every time I do it so oh, a guy left over here. Uh, do I have to blow it up
Oh. I don't know, I guess. Um, I'll take a shotgun. We all know how overpowered they are. Like I always say. Oh, was I supposed to die? What? Oh! Was that just like a survival mode or something? Oh. Alright. Well, <laughs> I, uh, alright. I'm gonna guess like a B, maybe. B minus. Okay. Well, if I would have known it was a survival mode. Wait, didn't I die, though, on the first floor a few times? And the second floor? I don't know. Whatever. Anyway, that's it for me today. I will see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Damn it, shorty!